We can drive it home with one headlight. Ooh, ooh. Hey, everybody. The passenger, the passenger low beam light no work on the Chevy Silverado. So I'm going to fix it and you get to watch me do it. Okay, and of course it got super dark. But make sure you break off the little tab that holds the tab. Because when this tab goes back, then you can push down the real tab. Because that's special. Bye. Yeah, just hang out. Take the air box out. Because you have to do that to even change the light bulb on a normal day. And that's when I found that my, my socket was melted. Of course, the dogs have to forget I live here. Because why? Because what business would I have being out in my own driveway on a Friday night? I don't know. What would you have business to do? Disconnect the intake hose there. Disconnect the sensor. And then... This guy comes off, wow, cool, look at that. I do need to change this filter. And the way you get this box out, which I've already done once, so I already did it. Thank you, dogs. You just perk on it. Close your eyes, yank. And I've done this once before, so I am speaking as an expert. Set that over there. Here's where the headlights are. They're down there. So I did try to get my fat hand between that air box down here, but it's, I said I had a fat arm. I, I most certainly do. I do have a, a fat arm. Down in here, we're simply twisting counterclockwise, pulling out the light. So then the light's coming out. So that's where she is. The other method is to take the grill off and take out the whole harness and repair it or replace it. But that's a little bit more money than old Sam's willing to spend. Headlights are on right now and the problem wasn't the bulb. The problem is this connector. See how it turns on and off? Good idea? No idea? I have an idea? No idea? All the power to the car completely disconnected. Stagger. <sighs> if you look now in there, you can see the meltage. I did one of these on the other side of the car, and I vowed I would hate to ever do it again. I would just throw the truck in the river. Well, there's my there's my staggers. I was gonna get like a plastic one, but then I saw these Dorman, or as one of my favorite YouTubers says, Dorman. Um. These are ceramic, and I get a two-pack. Whoop! Come on, just one. I just want one. One. Okay. Other than that, other than that part being completely not sealed, the ceramic isn't gonna melt. Seems crunchy and awkward. It's the Builder Series by Derman. I'm gonna use these crimp slash solder uh, slash shrink slash seal butt splices. The only place in my town that has them off the shelf is Napa Auto Parts, so kudos to them. Comes in a very expensive three pack. I see the sun coming up at the funeral at dawn and nothing's good and all else is lost. See, she had a bit of night, he always had a pretty face. Sometimes I think I wonder why this burns. Dun, 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 dun. Come and try a little, nothing is forever. You got to be something better. In the middle. So that guy's in there. It heats up. And then the solder in the link melts. You see in the middle of that connector? 
it's no longer like the warm the warm heart size it's also sealing heat shrink so that's good all right gotta get the high beam back in harness goes back on this little mount there so that guy goes in there turn it to the right awkwardly and then turn it to the left and it's home we'll see if we fix our problem oh look at that it's running like a champ it's popped in two's popped in tight but not too tight she snicks and then she snicks I'm gonna put a new value priced air filter in there. And if you're not a professional, don't use power tools to do this. So the air box is in, the light's working. Oh, anyway, have a great day. I love you all.